Hi, I'm Mark Trellis. I wanted to talk with you today about the problems that couples are facing in trying to have a child. Actually, about 10 to 15 percent of the population are currently having difficulty conceiving. Now, to put in perspective, in couples less than age 30, on a monthly basis, about 20 to 25 percent of them will be able to conceive naturally. After a year, about 85% will be able to conceive. So we start looking at the 10 to 15% of the population that have been having difficulty. In this country, we consider a fertility problem one year of trying to conceive when a woman is having natural cycles and she has been unable to conceive. However, it may be that it just may take longer. Nevertheless, when we start seeing couples after one year, we look at the problems that can be causing this issue. For the female, 40% of the time it's actually a tubal problem, 40% of the time ovulation difficulty. And for the man, the best screen is a sperm analysis. Now a common question that we get is how often is it a female issue and how often is it a male issue? Well, believe it or not, it's actually equal. 40% of the time, we identify a female cause to the fertility problem, and 40% of the time, a male cause. 20% we don't know, it's an unexplained situation right now, and 30% is a combination. Now, one more thing to realize, if you are older than 35, we recommend a fertility evaluation if you've been trying to conceive for more than six months. The reason? Because as a woman gets older, the eggs are getting older. So the window of opportunity for fertility starts to decline. And we feel we should get more aggressive to give you the chance to conceive. Now, the common tests for fertility, we go back to the woman now, and we talk about doing an examination to see if her fallopian tubes are open. The common test for that is a hysterosalpingogram, a long name, and we abbreviate it usually with HSG. Another test is to see if she's ovulating, and there are several ways that we could determine that. Using a simple over-the-counter ovulation predictor kit, or a blood test for a hormone called progesterone. Now for the man, a simple evaluation is a sperm analysis. And that can really screen for many, many of the problems that we can diagnose in a male. In the special category of women that are experiencing ovarian aging, we can do hormone tests as well as an ultrasound to determine if there's a problem there. At Fertility Care, we can offer you all of this testing in a very comprehensive and efficient way to either alleviate your anxiety that there could be a problem or to work promptly at treating you and hopefully conceiving.